Hi everybody, it's Diane. I'm about to start a stamping session um, to make some embellishments that I can add to my um, binder journal that I've been working on. That one. So I have a basket here of scraps. Um, coffee dyed scraps and all kinds of little scraps. Little things that I can stamp on. I also have this bag here of larger scraps in case I need a larger piece. I have <coughs> my stays on Timber Brown um, Distress <coughs> Sorry, just dis Distress Archival Ink in Hickory Smoke and an Archival Ink in Fern Green. Um, this is my old Timber Brown. This is brand new. I just opened it. But I'm going to see if this one still works. And ground espresso archival ink. I have some number stamps in this, like a typewriter font type of... I think there's two different sets in there. And then I have these that are really cool. These are old um, Stampin' Up! ones that kind of look like graffiti. Each one has a different style. <coughs> so these are fun. I'm sorry. Every time I start to speak... Um, and I have some stamps pulled out, which I showed you in the other video, in a previous video, so I have these to play with. So let's just start stamping, and I'll do probably way more than I'll use in this journal that I'm making, but I will have some to save for another journal. This long, thin one, I could stamp this set of numbers on. Or I could stamp this alphabet script. That's pretty cool. I haven't even used this set of stamps yet. This is Tim Holtz, and it's called Faded Type CMS397. Oh, I better get my stamping blocks. I like to use brown when I'm doing something that I want to look vintage because black ink fades to kind of a brown. these little cards. Now these cards are blank cards that came with um, some vocabulary sets that I had gotten at a flea market. One was French, one was German, and one was English. And they came with these blank, they came with these craft dividers and then these blank ones that apparently you could write your own words and translations of them. So I'm going to play around with them a little bit. I love the Tim Holtz Field Notes set. There are a lot of uh, words and numbers in it that are fun to play with. How about Shipment Collect? And I'm going to try this one in the Fern Green. two of them and then cut it in half. I like that green. It, I just opened this one too. I forgot I had that. I think I bought it when um, Hobby Lobby had their inks on half price. And then I put it in my drawer and forgot about it. of those I can play with and I can do more to them when I know where they're going to go. I could, you know, trim them and round the corners and ink around them or whatever, but I'm just stamping them right now. Put these P 
pieces that I stamp someplace safe so they don't get buried. Oh, that's an actual card. Horse. It's German. All right, I could stamp these numbers in gray. No, and this color I will use this brown. Maybe after I get a few of these pieces stamped, we can go through the binder and that I'm making and um, put some in there so you can see how I want to use these little pieces. I don't really have an idea right now, but we'll figure it out. There's a butterfly. Faded. I could use the, the green to stamp this little circle stamp on. And then an agent number. I might as well use my new brown stays on since that one looked rather faded. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to stamp some numbers. Oh, this is a nice juicy pad. It says book number 710. So here... I think I'll stamp a label and then stamp that number inside it. And I've got some others like this. So I'll stamp a bunch of those. I like this circle one too. Crew Dispatcher. And these are the types of things that would be stamped onto uh, receipts and 
things like that. So they're really fun to do. Destination. Filed. I actually have off old vintage office and post office stamps with the handles. I should have brought them in with me, but I didn't. shapes to stamp in. <clears throat> this is just coffee dyed paper. It's kind of a label shape stamp. This is from Stampin' Up. Had it a long time. That's a scrapbook paper with a ledger design on it. Try stamping this in red. <clears throat> Let's do this one. This one has like a little green label on it. So let's play with that. Um, just and just stamp a number across it. So then, of course, I'll cut these all apart and use them. Now I have this piece of file folder. I want to do something with that. It's the corner of the file folder, so you have that little indentation there. A little bird stamp. I think I squished it in there too much. It might be blotchy. 
Let's see. Nope, not bad. And I'll just add a number to it. have this roll of brown tape, the kind that you would wet to stick. So let's get a different set of stamps out. You can stamp this on it. Postal card, that's a cool stamp. I just have fun getting out my stamps and my scraps and making ephemera. To me, that's a good day. A good play day. This one says collect, so it's a, um, collecting a specimen, I suppose, and it's the label for it. a little blurry. I think I must have moved it. And this one actually says specimen on it. these I could neatly cut around the square or I could tear it. And leave it with a rough edge. I think I should stamp a specimen label in red. <clears throat> will it fit on here? Yes, it will.
looks like it still had a little brown left on it. Cool. Now I can fill something in there on that space. What do we have here? I'm going to use these. I'll need a bigger scrap for those. But I have this cute little flower. This set is called, the, those are school desk and the others are floral tattoo. So the designs on them kind of remind me of henna tattoos, I think. I'm not that familiar with tattoos, but that's pretty. And I'll punch that out or something. <clears throat> I won't leave it attached to that. Okay, now I'm going to use these. So, I'll get one of my bigger scraps of coffee dyed paper. This one is some sort of a chart or a table. dropped an open ink pad, but it landed right side up. I'm going to do it this way because the paper is all crinkly. Oh yeah, that looks good. Let's do another one. I've been wanting to do a ephemera stamping session anyway. up here to do this field label stamp. Let's do that one in green. this little stamp it looks like it came from a dictionary um, and it's a herb or a flower there this little strip I can stamp some of these postal things on there. Well, I don't want that there. I'll just stamp some of these words. And and these came from the other set I was using. What is it? Don't remember. Field notes. It's from the field notes set.
Let's do some of the graffiti numbers, just because they're fun. And I don't need a block for them. They come on a wooden block. So there's a number two. And i got to stop pressing down so hard into that pad because it's a brand new juicy pad. There's three. Seven, eight, five. I've got an alphabet, graffiti alphabet too. This is nine from Stampin' Up. Aren't they cool? Four and one and an ampersand. I love this set from Graphic 45 that looks like um, typewriter font. Okay, I think uh, we have enough that I can go back into. I didn't do these. I wanted to do some of the bigger ones. I forgot that I said we'll do a couple more and then we'll get into the binder and put some in. I just was having fun. Stamping and stamping and stamping. What is this? I did use this one. It's a typewriter font, upper and lowercase letters. This is some kind of a table. I guess after I stamp it, I'll be able to read it. Month of and you circle the month, received and recorded, day of, received and recorded. And I just want to do the note paper, notebook paper. I'm big enough, not quite. Maybe none of these are big enough. I have another bag that has bigger pieces, but I guess we'll skip the notebook paper for now. <clears throat> so I'm going to set all these aside, and I will clean up after my video.
So here's what we've done. something to here. So I think I'll just cut out one of these labels in red. little, these are vintage stickers and they're on a roll. I could stamp numbers on them too, that would be fun. Okay, there's the roll of them. Uh, just trying to decide if I want something else on here. kind of cool. I would zoom in except my camera makes a weird noise when I do that, which I can't hear until I watch the video back, so I didn't realize it was doing it. It didn't used to. I've seen older of my videos where I zoomed in and it doesn't make that noise. I might have to start looking for a new camera soon. This is working okay, except for that, and um, when I try to take the battery out, I struggle. There's a, a little release, and it's supposed to pop out. There's springs or something that make it pop out once you push the release, and it doesn't pop it out, and I have a really hard time getting the battery out. There, I like that. That's just a little something, and you still have lots of space to journal. Let me see if I wanted to add something to the card. Um, not at this time. Put this little number up there. Okay, I definitely wanted to do something to this page. Pour it right there, so I'm going to have to repair that. <clears throat> Maybe this little sticker would work.
so it's in the book like this. Um, I put that little flower on it. turn it over and you would see this part what I do with all those graffiti numbers the five because it has the numeral five and then the written word five. It just looks lonely by itself. Just trying to add some fun and interest without taking up too much of the writing space. Triple S blue stamps. Then we have a pocket back here. It's the one with the weed or flower or herb. So I think that would look nice in green there. off the edge of the pocket a little bit.
then I'll find something fun to tuck into the pocket. This postcard might be fun to tuck in there. You saw that basket of scraps that I pulled some of these pieces from. That's a pretty full basket, so I'm going to have to just have a really good ephemera making session and clean that basket out. I wouldn't, I probably won't use them all. I'll probably end up discarding some because it won't take long to fill the basket back up again. So I could get out a few sets of stamps and make a bunch and then get those cleaned up and put away. And then in another session get out another bunch of stamps and do some more. I think I will look for a magazine image or something to put there. Speaking of camera, one of those could add some color somewhere in this book. This is from 1941. I'm going to leave that on there. It says August 1941, Good Housekeeping. That page is done, and I think we're sorry. I think we're just about out of time. I might. Oh, that is reinforced. Okay, we've got that done. Oops, I have to punch a hole.
After I glue these on, I am going to say goodbye for today. I'll probably keep playing. And I don't think you'll see any more videos. We're just about done. I've got some more things to do, but you've seen me do pretty much whatever else I'm going to do in here. Just decorating envelopes and cards and things. And You'll see the finished product in the next video. And it will be in my shop probably by then. So thanks for watching. I really appreciate you coming along while I make this really fun journal. And I'll see you the next time. Have a creative day today. Bye-bye.